What's up, everybody? 2.7k quality on the Cooper Hero 11 Black. Time is currently um, 4.48 p.m. on the 11th of... It's Thursday, the 11th of April. 11th of April. Can you believe that we're almost halfway through this month already? Crazy. I uploaded two videos today to YouTube. I've not uploaded one to TikTok yet. That's okay. Don't have to go on TikTok every day. I got some TikToks. Easter! What was really amazing was that I posted a video on Easter, right? Of this year. But Easter last year was like a couple of days ahead of what this year's Easter was. It could, earlier. Today's Easter was this year's Easter was early. And at first I'm like, okay, that's weird. Why am I not seeing my own TikToks? Because you no know, TikTok will say like on this day you made a video. And you could choose to post it again or save it for later. I chose to post it immediately so it could just revisit my memories. This was the time I was in Florida. And this is when three minute TikToks were available, not ten minute. But um yeah, it was really weird. But it worked out very well. And um Yeah, it was pretty cool. Tomorrow we get paid. And all that stuff. Chicken, One more at six. Okay. Um, I got the rec schedule for today. Journaling at four. Right now it's four thirty. Around four thirty. Basketball is seven thirty. Basketball practice at five thirty. Five thirty. I realize is in, in normal order. I in the regular order. But okay. I'm on my trips at six, but I need to go because I've got everything I could ever want. I'm making. I have ramen back in my dorm. Waiting to cool off because I put it in the microwave for three minutes, which is way too long to put on a normal thing. Like, usually I put it for two minutes and then, like, we're done. But no, I had to put it in for three minutes to make sure it was extra hot. And I'm an idiot for doing that. So, it's unfortunate. I'm gonna take one lap around the circle. Circle that over here. The quad area. And then I'm gonna go in. We're gonna post this bad boy. So time is time is around 4.52 p.m. And it was raining today. Today's weather was cloudy with a chance of rain. Obviously it did rain, you can tell the pavement's wet. There's puddles on the campus. Hold on. One. One puddle, two puddle. Oh, we're in puddles. Puddles are on the side here. Up and down here. But that's okay. Not that important. But just letting you guys know that there are puddles on campus. And so now, story time. So guys, I got my Western, Di Western Digital device right two terabyte solid state drive no hd so high hdd i don't know what that stands for high display high definition drive i don't know could stand for literally anything 
But um, I got it with my dad on a Sunday. And we bought it and I was going to check, I checked it out on my computer. And it worked. It's on my TikTok, I think. If you look on my TikTok, Alexander Reitz, A L E X, no, A L 3 X and D 3 R or E R Reitz. Yeah, it's just Alexander Reitz, so I'm the first one that pops up. But I have to go in like this symbol. So, check it out. Um, if you want to go on my TikTok, sure, go ahead. Um, but, um,. I go check it out and I start transferring files. I'm so excited I want to get this because I'm paying for Google Drive storage. And I said, no, not happening. I don't want to do that. That's that's silly. So I said, let's cancel the Google Drive storage, right? That doesn't make sense. And let's go and get a solid state drive. So first we bought a $440 solid state drive. No, two, two to $400. Um, sand disk drive, which dad can use. Unfortunately, I can't use it on my Chromebook. It's not a, compatible with Chrome OS. But anyway, it didn't matter. We get into Western Digital Device on Sunday, and it works. And then it just stopped working all of a sudden. I transferred about five gigabytes. Five gigabytes of footage. A time more video. And a couple pictures, like five pictures, or like eight, 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 no, five to eight pictures of just random 12, 27 megapixel photos. They're so like very, very, various sizes, but they're about five to 10, maybe, luckily, maybe 11 megabytes, but most of the time they're below 11, or in the one to 10 range. But, um, I have a couple of those now. You know what? Let me show you. Alex, give me on the vlog. Yo, my boy Alex. <laughs> yeah, so I will show you guys what I mean. Hold on. Okay, whatever. I had to fix something on my screen. It just looks like dirt, but whatever. Anyway. Um, I want to show you what I mean, okay? So maybe someone who's watching can troubleshoot it for me, okay? I'll show you an example. Um, maybe it'll work, maybe, maybe it won't. If it does work, that's great. If it doesn't, that sucks. Because I paid sem $70 for that thing. It's a lot it's significantly cheaper. But we're not paying for Western Digital. Western Digital was not always compatible with Chrome OS at the time. So, whatever. That's okay. Anyway, let's go back to our dorm. Got my key right here. And let's go in. So it's almost five o'clock now. Time is four fifty-seven p.m. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you what the Western Digital device looks like, and uh, show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So, uh, for example, let's use my black computer. Okay. So unplug it just temporarily. That's enough charge for this process. Hold on, let me put you down here. Let's open you up, bad boy. If I can. Do the Wi Fi log in. Okay, good. So I'm trying, so this is the Western digital device I have, right? This is the two terabyte, well, technically 1.8 terabytes of storage I have. 
used completely to use on this. Made in Thailand, so it's not made in China, which is great. That's awesome. Love it. But it's also like my passport. I don't know what the hell my passport is, but it's a feature on this device. Not on this device, on this device. Let me show you what I mean. So, if you can hear that. It's vibrating and clicking. So I'm going to show you my screen. So I'm going to try to go to files. Usually a notification pops up in the bottom right corner saying removal of device detected, but we're going to skip that stage. And see, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing detected. Now let's search it up. Western digital device not being detected. So the problem could be the USB port. I've tried on all two, four, six, six USB ports. I've even used it. I don't know if my board needs to charge or not, but whatever. Connection issue with the USB port or cable. A corrupted file sits on the external hard drive. Bad sectors are on the hard drive. I don't know what that means. I did have this most up to date Chrome OS feature. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go to settings. I'll show you what I mean. Because people are going to ask, oh, what's your most up to date? Recorded because one twenty-two one hundred twenty-two point zero point six two six six two six one point one three seven official build sixty-four bit. I have no idea what's different, but we're we're gonna, we're gonna definitely check that out later. I'm gonna try this one time to show you what I mean. And plug it until this is a unique cable. Worse comes to worse, buy a new cable. But it's like clicking noise. You know, search why it's clicking. Oh, it's watching a video. Because I'm really pissed off at this point. Remote monitoring and management. Remote access. Help desk and ticketing. Smart animations. Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Mavericks. We've got another video for you guys today. As you well know, we actually do lots of work, repairs on this channel. We show lots of stuff as well. We also do like USB data recoveries. We show some hard drive, little quick tutorials, fixes, and some data recoveries from there as well. And we're actually a data recovery center. We actually have a clean room. We have lots of tools, such as like the PC3000 to help us for data recovery. And um, today we're actually going to be showing a pretty interesting one. It's going to be pretty much diagnosing a hard drive that is actually clicking. And you're wondering, well, if a hard drive is clicking, what's actually going on in there? Now, not all the cases are always going to be the same. We're going to be showing you one today that is really interesting because it's clicking. And we're going to go be in our clean room. And let's just get right into it because I think you guys will love this one. So we're going to be removing the drive label. Usually the label has drive information, so it's always good practice just to remove it very carefully. Also, the plate screws are important to remove at this point uh, because there's also not just screws in the plate, but it's part of the drive as well. Now we have the drive open. We're going to be doing an inspection. You see the arm is parked, not on the platter itself. We're going to be checking this filter in the corner first to see if it's dirty. It looks to be pretty clean, so we're going to put it back in. Now we're going to be inspecting uh, the platter. And we're using this special green light that's going to be showing debris or any scratches or micro scratches. We see there's actually some contamination to the platter here, and we're going to just be cleaning it. We need to be very careful, especially in this process. Now we're going to actually be turning it on, and you're going to see the problem with the drive itself. And this is the problem that, that you may actually see or hear sometimes. The 
arm is moving, but you can see the head is actually very, very weak. We can also have a problem with the motor as well, and we would need to order a donor for a replacement. Now we're going to be putting the drive back, and again, it's very important to do this absolutely carefully because you can still damage any of the open parts that are in there, and then we can put back the label, and then we will just wait for the donor to come in and then do the head replacement. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and learned something today what on the process. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that health wall? What the fuck was that health wall? Okay, let's try it. Not being detected should be better. Hi there. I'm Sierra from Western Digital. And in this series, we're going to discuss what to do when your computer fails to detect your WD Elements portable drive. Follow along. And if this video doesn't help, Move on to the next video in the series. For now, let's talk about basic troubleshooting. Your WD Elements portable drive is a plug and play USB device, which means all you have to do is plug it into your computer and it should be ready for immediate use. If your device is connected and your computer does not automatically detect it, there are four basic troubleshooting steps you can use to try and fix the issue. Let's start with the basic connection test. Begin by powering off your computer. Once it's yep, completely off, on connect your device directly to your computer using the included okay. USB cable. Okay. Make sure you're not using a USB hub, as it could cause some connectivity issues. Now power on your computer. If your device is still not showing up, move on to the exclusive connection test. First, power off your computer. Once it's off, disconnect all devices that may be connected to your computer. Okay. We're trying to narrow down what might be causing your issue and ensure other devices aren't causing the problem. Now, power on your computer, and when it's booted up, connect your WD Elements drive directly to your computer without using a USB hub. If your device is still not showing up, move on to the USB cable test. Not all USB cables are the same. Some are a higher quality, mm. some only work with certain computers, and some are simply old or broken. Try reconnecting your device with a different cable, preferably one you already know works. If your device is still not showing up, this is a let's unique move on cable. to the USB power it. test. It's possible that the USB port you're using is simply not providing enough power for the oh, drive no. to run. Try connecting the drive to another USB port. If it still doesn't show up, try connecting it to another computer. If this computer does see it, then the issue is with your first computer. If none of these tests fix your problem, go to the next video in the series for more advanced troubleshooting. We hope this video was helpful. For more how-tos and tips, visit us online at westerndigital.com slash support. Thanks for watching. Okay. We'll see what happens. I'll make a part two, guys. Peace.